Hi everyone, in this video I will model and calculate a complete sewer system. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to activate the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! So we start by inserting um, sanitary objects in the model, toilets and wash basin. We find them in the pipe network toolbox, so we start with the toilet. Um, in the product database dialog, I'll select on the left the category wall mounted and on the right I will select the first product in the, in the list and click OK. Here we find the mounting height, the default one. I won't change anything, just, just press OK. To rotate the object automatically, I can press and hold control over the line I would like to rotate and then I left click on the snap. Uh, in order to find the snap, the function is, uh, use snap points must be activated. I will now press escape to close the function and insert wash basin. So left click here, I'll select wash basin subcategory under wash basin and I will select the wash basin 600, 500, 400 um, product. Click OK. Click OK. Again, I will rotate automatically, so press and hold control over the line. And after it's rotated, I will press and hold again to attach to the line. And then I left click. Do it here and in here. So let's see the result in 3D. Here they are. Now I would like to insert pipe behind the objects. I start the pipe in the pipe function and then I will define the pipe start in here. What I would like to define first is the pipe size. I'll change to 100 and I'll change the mounting height to minus 0.2. Here we see that we have already uh, the correct group, medium and material. The material that we have, the indication of waste water, are the material that we can activate the slope. So we'll have this one selected. In the tab direction pause, we see here the active, that the, act, the slope is already active, active. And here we see the angle of the slope. <clears throat> Um, if I insert minus, by default, the pipe will come down. So click OK. Here, this um, triangle is the, the representation of the slope direction. So I will move until the end of the shaft, left click to end the segment, and right mouse click to end in the story below. With the function still active, I will come to the other shaft, left click to start the pipe again, and I will change the size to 50, the mounting height to 0.3, and press OK. Now I will move to the end of the shaft, left click to end segment, right mouse click, and end in story below. So press escape to close the function, and let's see the result in 3D. So what we have done so far, come back to 2D, I will select the toilet and I will right mouse click to automatically connect them to the pipe. And if I would like to connect to the stack, in this case I already have drawn the to drain, so this is the type of connection uh, DDSCAD will automatically do, but if I had the, only the stack, DDSCAD could make this type of connection automatically. So I'll select this to drain and click OK. And let's see in 3D. So let's do the same here for the wash basin. Right mouse click, automatic connection and to drain. And here it is the result. So I have finished the, the system here in this model in this floor oh by the way i didn't finish i would like to do something else so instead of having this band i would, I would like to have a small piece of pipe going uh, going up so 
So I will change the, the random mode for this one. So it's easy to see here the band. So with the band selected, I will right mouse click and I will select the option change band to T like this. I will double click the T again and now I will select the option, uh, the draw direction option ahead and click OK. I'll do the same in the other side. So right mouse click and I'll select change band to T. I will double click the T and select ahead and click OK. Now I will start the pipe function again and I will move closer here, closer to the symbol. And see, I, I see here the indication of the T. So I will left click this T option and I will increase the pipe to 1.2 meters. And I will press enter to continue the function. I will move to the other symbol. And again, the mounting height will be, will be 1.2. Now I can press escape to close the function. Let's see the result in 3D. Like this. Now I have finished the installation uh, in this floor. So I would like to copy this system to the floor below. So I will select all the installation. And as you can see, the building is not uh, selected. In the layer display, I have locked all the layers that do not belong to the sanitary type. So I will right mouse click and copy objects by free reference point, And I will select the common point that I have on the floor below and left click. Now I don't need to have this uh, floor active anymore. So I will close here and I will close here. I will paste the, the system in this floor. So right mouse click and paste copy. And I will select the same point. Here it is. Now I can press escape to close the function. Let's see in 3D. So here it is. In order to connect one floor to the other, I will remove this stack of this floor and I will draw it again. So come closer, I will select this here, like this, uh, this branch here, so, and press delete. So here is what I have removed. And in the other pipe, again, I will select here and press delete. So here it is what I have done. So from this symbol, I will start the pipe function again, move to the, uh, when it's highlighted, I will left click and click on the button, go to story. I will do the same here, go to story and press escape to close the function. So in 3D, we have created a stack from one floor to the other, but it's not connected to, to the system yet. So I will, select the, the pipe segment, click on the node and move until it's, it highlights the connection and it will automatically connect as we can see here. And here again, select, click on the node and move until it's, the connection is highlighted and it's connected. All right. So it's all done for this model. So now let's continue the system in the floor below. So we'll close here, close here, yeah, save. So press click yes. And now let's go to fund foundation and I will make the same uh, setup for the 2D view and 3D view. All right, so I see the, the two symbols over here. I will start the pipe function again 
from here and I will draw 20 centimeters so 0.2 and I will draw in this direction and end so press enter to continue the function so now move to the other symbol and I will uh, insert 10 centimeters so 0.10 I will draw in this direction and I want I could automatically connect but if I automatically connect this segment will have a different slope of 1% which is what I would like to have the complete system in the same slope so I will just cross uh, the other pipe and I will press escape to close the function so let's see the result here in 3d so we have these two pipes and they are in different heights and I would like to have this uh, this branch in the same slope of the main pipe so what I will do I will select a T function so click here on the T and I will move the T to the main branch as you can see the dialog T is opened I will change the size of the branch to 50 which I know is the the size of the branch and here I would like I would like to have the same direction of uh, the opposite direction of the T so that it could be connected uh, if it's in your case if in your case it's not correctly assigned you can change the angle and you can also change here the rotation of branch so uh, again I would not like to start the pipe from the branch um, to do so I I set this automatically start drawing from this T deactivated and I click OK. Now I'll press K to close the function and I will move the node of this T to intersect the, the branch and left click. Now I will select the segment and I'll move the cursor to the node and when it highlights the move I right mouse click and I will select the move pipe end. And when I move to the uh, branch of the T, it will be highlighted and I will left click. So now it's connected. And if we see in 3D the result, now it has recognized the same slope of the main branch. So my complete system has the same slope right now. And to show this in, in as an annotation, I will left click the the, the pipe segment and I will come to the part text function in here I have already set up a pipe segment part text with slope just to, to show you what I have uh, acti activated I will right mouse click and come to configure in this case I have activated the, the information for mounting above finished floor and reference bottom uh, bottom of the pipe and at the end I have drain slope also activated and I will press OK press OK and I will move now my cursor to to the segment and as we can see we have the slope indication and also the height where I would like to insert this tag so left click here I will left click in here in here and at the end in here as well and now I can press escape so now we have this indication but at the end I would like to redimension and calculate this complete system to do so I come to set a calculation point in here and I will uh, add at the end of my system in here so left click and I'll give a name to the system of SW01 uh, and I will click calculate uh, in a wastewater calculation we see that DDS card has identified the complete system and we see here in the endpoint uh, that all the objects all the objects that are connected to the system so we have six toilets and six uh, wash basin here in the pipe type we see what the DSCAD has uh, understood as a segment so we have drain we have stack we have branch discharge uh, discharge 
uh, pipe mood single and here we find the ventilation type so where we have the pipe open to the up atmosphere we have this stock vent single but we still have the indication that DDS cut uh, that the pipe should be ventilated so we should uh, connect a ventilation pipe to, to, to the sewage pipe as well I, I won't do this in this case in here uh, and here we see the size of each segment and uh, the slope discharge unit and the flow um, in the tab options we can change and we can see what frequency factor we have active so in the drop down list we have the frequency factor for different types of building I will select this intermittent for uh, that we have the KS 0.5 and I will calculate this system as we can see some segments were uh, resized where we see in, in green and now I will press OK and DDS CAD will resize my model now to see the result in a complete uh, system I will come to import the model manager ghost story discipline I will select the filter by and sanitary heating and I will active the first floor and ground floor and press OK now I have predefined also a layer setup for sanitary only so only the sanitary layers will be displayed and here it is the, the result if you like this video share with your colleagues and if you have any questions put your comment below and we'll get back to you cheers